checking to make sure everything looks level. I'm the one who's on level. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Welcome back. We are on episode 17 now on my musical journey. So the 90s started introducing me to, to bands that challenged my musical paradigm. And I started discovering all this wider world of music. So one day I was perusing through, I think it was a Guitar World magazine, and yeah, I may still have that one too. Anyways, I saw an advertisement for Last Crack. I'm like, what is this? And I'm reading a little bit about it, a little bit of a review on the album Burning Time. Lo and behold, they are a band from my home state of Wisconsin. And I'm like, oh my god, okay, cool, very cool. And it was actually a critically acclaimed album, uh, produced uh, Roadrunner Records. I think it was Roadrunner. And uh, I'm like, okay, well, at that point, I was unaware of any Wisconsin rock and roll metal bands that were acclaimed at all. Uh, or or famous. I'm sure. I mean, obviously there were individuals and you know actors and that sort of thing. And I thought, oh, this is really cool. So I went and I got it. And I'm like, what is this? I like this, and it has the hometown connection, so to speak. So that album has so many good tracks, in my opinion. But I, I decided what I would feature is essentially the title track. My Burning Time. Um, because this is... Un I, I'm, I'm sure none of you have heard of them. Okay? But we're gonna, we're gonna give it a listen and I'll talk about it uh, afterwards. You ready? Here we go. Let's see the guitars. Always get me. And I'm like, what is Bono doing in this band? It's not Bono, it's Bono. That's the name he goes by. Well, I 
it there. So for this band, this band for me, especially this album, now they've had, they have a handful of albums. I think I want to say like four studio albums and a live album, something like that. Uh, after this album, they, I think they did one more and then they broke up and the vocalist went into a band called White Fear Chain, which I saw them at Summerfest. Um, and I was really fascinated with this vocalist, just his, his statements that he makes, the, the kind of a, every once in a while, just sort of a social political statement that he had, uh, in this, in this album, but just his singing style was so, to me, very reminiscent of Bono from U2, and U2 was on my radar too, but I, I don't know if they're going to make the playlist, I have to think about that, um, but Last Crack for me, like I said, they were, they were a home state band, uh, really good. This album has a lot of different textures, uh, as you could tell with the guitar playing. That was just so fresh for me, uh, the way they approached the guitars. At this point in time, Paul Reed Smith were uh, a really, really popular electric guitar luthier. I think they, I don't know when they actually hit the scene, but they were being used uh, by well-known musicians at this point. Um, so I think they're, they, they started ascending really quick and last crack, they used, uh, Paul Reed Smith's also, uh, just such a, I never owned one, but I had a chance to play on one, such a versatile and really good crafted electric guitar. Um, and, and so there was a lot of different flavoring and texturing and attitude and the mixing on this album. All of this was just played into my absolute love for uh, the band, and, um, you know, some of the stuff they, they did, and I think the album before was a little, <laughs> little hokey, but, you know, whatever, it's, you know, not everybody's perfect, and that's the beautiful thing about, uh, um, oh, but that was a good album, um, but that's the beautiful thing about music being a subjective listening experience, uh, we all get something different out of it, and, uh, and so this this band most definitely was on was on my radar. Uh, they were a part of the landscape for quite a few years during the '90s, um, and unfortunately, they didn't make more music uh, during that time. Otherwise, who knows what could have been. But they did release one a a, a few years ago that I think is just a f really good album, "The Uprising." Um, and I may feature some songs on that later off of this playlist, but on my channels, uh, just because I, I really do appreciate it. And it's time for me to check back in with them and see if they're going to be doing anything, uh, any new releases. Um, but, uh, yeah, there you go. Last crack, my burning time. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Jesus loves you. And remember, he said to love one another as you love yourselves. So make sure you practice that. Talk to you later.